entire town of Fountain seems to be one big road construction project this, these days, and it's really impacting traffic, especially at the rush hour. Yeah, KRDO News Channel 13, Scott Harrison is live to explain where the cone zones are and when they will end. And Scott, it looks like the congestion from construction reaches to the interstate. Yeah, that's right, guys. In fact, what you see behind me is a steady procession of vehicles trying to get off the interstate and into Fountain, going in that direction, getting onto one of the main drags, Mesa Ridge Parkway. It takes a lot longer to do that now, though, because of what's going on in town with all the road and street construction. It's good and bad news for the people who live here. William Williams has mixed feelings about the numerous street and road repair projects in Fountain. He just moved back here after living in Utah. Well, I'm glad to see they're repairing the roads, but the impact is the, the traffic jams are almost unbearable. I mean, you, it's taking so much longer just to go a mile or two down the road than it should. At least five different projects are underway, either by the city or CDOT. Wet weather earlier in the year delayed repair work, so now crews are repaving and repairing damaged concrete. And yes, Fountain has its share of potholes too. They're getting worse, but I, I, I don't believe we're at the same level as Colorado Springs is at. We do have our bad spots that we have to watch. Fountain spends about $270,000 a year on road and street improvement projects like this one. But the needs are that the town should be spending four times more than that to catch up. The budget just isn't there to provide more money for street improvements. So does that mean Fountain residents will have to resort to what Colorado Springs is doing next month, voting whether to raise more money through a sales tax increase? No, not at all. There's, I, I believe there's other things in Colorado that they can dip into rather than raising my taxes even higher for me to pay for something that, you know, I drive on every day that they should be taking care of. I think it would help. I think it, uh, if you were to, to poll the public, and I'm not speaking for anybody but myself, I think they would be willing to, to um, allow that to be able to get more time, more money, and more um, resources to get these things fixed. And these projects that we've told you about should all wrap up around Thanksgiving. Reporting live in El Paso County, Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13. All right.